Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a bookstore website. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly. You can get started for completely free and also it is quite easy to use. So you are going to tap on create new site in the top right hand corner after you have created your account. And to create your account on Wix, all you'll need is your email address. After you have created your account, I want you to tap on Create on Wix Editor. And then from here, you will be redirected to this page. And you are going to tap on Set Up Without AI. After selecting Set Up Without AI, on the search bar, you are going to type in Bookstore. So you can see right there, you're going to tap on bookstore, then tap on next. After selecting next, you can see it is preparing your dashboard. Once your dashboard has been prepared, I'll be showing you how to add your business name, opening and closing hours, and also how to add products to your new store. So this is our dashboard as you can see right here. First, we are going to add our store name. So you can add your store name right here. I will call this bookstore. Then tap on next. Then if this is your first time, you can say no, I'm just starting out. Then we'll be selling physical products and we will also be selling digital products. So you can sell ebooks and you can also sell physical books. Then you'll tap on next. And will you be accepting payments online? If so, you can tick online. And we'll also be accepting payments in person. If not, you can leave it as online store. Then you'll tap on next and you'll tap on continue to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option once more. And from there, you will be able to start adding products to your store. So you are going to select store products right here. So you select store products, then you are going to tap on products. After selecting products, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, I want you to tap on new product in the top right hand corner. Then we can select physical product. After selecting physical product, you will now be able to upload images of the books that you will be selling. So you can tap on add images. After selecting add images, you'll see a pop up and you could tap on upload media. And from there, you could upload the book covers and so on. But for example sake, I will be using some of the copyright free images from Wix. So I typed in book. Let's say I would like to use this one. Then tap on add to page. After the image has been added, you'll simply scroll down and you can add some basic information about the book right there, by the, like the book title and also the book description. And you can also set the price that you will be selling it for. After you're finished, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. And I will also be showing you how to add digital products to your store. For example, an ebook. You'll need to tap on new product also in the top right hand corner. Tap on digital file. After you have selected digital file, you will be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll tap on upload file. And this is where you would upload your ebook. So you'll simply tap on upload file right here. After you have uploaded your ebook, you will scroll down. You can add the book name right there and a quick description. After doing that, you can add images right here. So you could add the book cover image right here by tapping on add images. Then you can scroll down and you'll be able to set the price for your ebook. Once you're finished doing that, you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. So now that I've shown you how to add physical books and also digital books, I will be showing you how to accept payments on your bookstore website. So we're going to go over to the left hand menu option and we're going to scroll down and select billing and payments and you're going to tap on payments. 
After doing that, you will be redirected to a new page and you are going to tap on Manage Payment Methods. By selecting Manage Payment Methods, you will see different options that you can connect. Depending on the country you are located in. For example, I can connect Tilopay and I can also connect PayPal by simply tapping on them. If it is the case that you would like to offer more payment options, you can change the location of your business on the website or you can simply scroll down and tap on see more payment options and from there you'll be able to view different payment options. And these options will vary depending on the country you're located in. And by scrolling up, I want you to tap on set up in the top left hand corner and I'm going to be showing you how to set up how your website appears at the moment. So you're going to tap on setup, then tap on design site in the top right hand corner. And we're now going to select pick a template. After doing that, you can see some sample templates that Wix recommends. And the reason why Wix is so popular and highly rated is because they provide you with numerous templates that makes it easy to create a professional looking website. And I'm going to be using this one so all I would need to do is tap on edit. After selecting edit, you can give it a few seconds while our website is being composed in the back. From here, you can close the pop up or you could tap in the box and you can enter some information and tap on generate site text and the Wix AI will compose articles and information that can be added to your site. But for now, we'll tap on the X then tap on plus 50% in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, this is how our website looks at the moment. So you can see it right there. Already it looks professional. So now to edit it, all you'll need to do is hover over whichever section you would like to change. Then you will see the option quick edit. Once you have tapped on that, you're going to see a window pop up on the right hand column. And from there, you can change the image background. You can change the image right here by tapping on change. You can also change the title as you can see right there. And keep in mind that anything that you would like to add to your website that you don't see at the moment, you all you'll need to do is tap on add elements in the top left hand corner, right where you see the plus. And if it is a text box, you'd like to add an image, anything at all, you will be able to do that by selecting the element right here. Now that I've shown you how to edit it, I'll be showing you how to view all the pages. And to do that, you'll tap on home in the top left hand corner. And let's say, for example, we wanted to view the product page or the bookstore. We can tap on bookstore right there and it will carry us to the bookstore page. And the editing options remain the same all you have to do is use your cursor to hover over the section that you would like to edit, then tap on quick edit. Once you have finished doing this, you can tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. And after doing that, you will tap on publish for your website to go live. Keep in mind to accept payments on Wix, you will need to go onto their paid plan. But their paid plan is quite affordable as it starts off at $17 per month and it will definitely be worth it. But at the moment, this is how our website looks. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will answer them in a timely manner.